G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. This video is uh, looking at simultaneous equations. Again, there's a whole bunch of videos I've made about this already. Uh, this is just going to be an example, which I'd, I'd recommend that you might try to solve in a second, and we'll work through it. Uh, there's a bunch of links up also to the past videos I made of these. The first one I explained simultaneous equations. The next couple we've just been going through examples. Uh, and this will be the last example. I'm also going to put a link up on how to actually make these. Uh, a different way of doing these, a nice and easy way of working out simultaneous equations. So just to recap, simultaneous equations are where we uh, are using two algebraic equations here. Uh, they basically are ones with the x's and the y's, and we're using them to solve these unknown variables, either the x's or the y's. Um, the way that we're doing this is we have to get the coefficient, the number in front of at least one of these sets of variables, the same. So looking at these, you might be able to look at them and think, what's the easiest ones to get the same? I reckon it's easy to get these and make them into sixes. We're going to times this by three and this by two. So we're going to times equation one by three and equation two by two. So down here I'll write, the, we'll work out the result of those. So we times this by three, we get eight by three is 24x plus 6y and it equals 48 by 3 which is 144. Okay, so we're going to multiply equation 2 by 2. 7 times 2 is 14x plus, we're going to multiply this by 2, we're going to get 6y and 47 times 2 which is 94. So we're going to be able to take one equation from the other now. Because these are the same, I'm just going to directly take one away. Okay, so this, take away this, is 10x. This, take away this, we cancel each other out. 144, take away 94, we get the answer of 50. So 10x equals 50, therefore x equals, oops, not, not 10, I almost made a mistake there, x equals 5. Okay. So we're going to substitute our value in now uh, of x to work out what y is. So we'll do it for equation 1. So if x equals 5, 5 times 8 equals 40. 40 plus 2y equals 48. So we can take 40 off both sides. We're going to end up with 2y. Take it off there. We're going to take it off here as well. So we're going to end up with 48 take 40, which is going to be 8. Therefore, y equals 4. I'm going to substitute it into this second equation here. So, if uh, x is 5, 7 times x is 35, plus 3y, so 3 times 4 is 12, and indeed the answer is 47. The answer is correct, and therefore our two numbers are correct y is 4 and x equals 5. So hopefully you're doing pretty well on those. Uh, I'm going to put this final video up where I'm going to look at a nice way of uh, doing these really, really uh, rapidly. Okay? See you then.